So this is the first event show, uh, camera gear show, that I've been to in two and a half years. And it feels really weird to come to something like this. I used to go to all of them and to see different stands with all the gear, get your hands on with things and to reconnect with people, which you know, has been one of the strangest things. Is one of the things you miss the most is that is seeing your friends and you see them here. People you used to see every single show. So it's it's there's definitely t they're the two main things for me is just seeing the gear and and meeting up with people and of course talks i mean i'm not going to really mention talks too much because i i just did one it's sort of like picking yourself up a bit but the talks are also really useful but so uh, it's just it's a surreal feeling to be honest with you i never th <laughs> prior to today i was so bored of, of trade shows i i was like ugh, i didn't even go to the last ibc i got so tired of them and it's funny, I've just been absolutely craving them to come back, and it's so nice to be back at one. So I just did a talk with Alice, it was a discussion, although we were supposed to have opposing views, sort of, but we don't really. We basically think the same thing. It's about choosing the right camera for you because there is no one camera that everybody should buy. What is really most important for me isn't necessarily going to be for Alistair or for somebody else. So we went through that sort of stuff and, and we moved a little bit away from the sort of the technical stuff as well into more about um, into, into the broader how people consume things and whether it makes a difference as well. So I think it's a very interesting talk and it's not going to tell you which camera to buy because no no video, no seminar, nothing will ever tell you what camera to buy because it's, it's what I'm going to tell you to buy is based upon what I want, which may not be, and most likely won't be, what you want or need. In the past year and a half or so, I think there's been about two and a half thousand cameras launched from just from Sony, let alone all the others. And so it's just like there's so many different new products which have come out lighting audio cameras lenses and you know we've seen them online and stuff but it's, this is the chance to actually look at them and see them which is going to help you because it's very difficult to you know if you're going to spend a lot of money you really want to actually use it and try it out first it's you know it's i think it's a really important thing to do so this is a great place to actually see multiple different brands and companies and just see if there's anything that you know, cements your decision to potentially buy something which we, maybe you're on the fence about. The thing I love about this one, this show right here in Twickenham in particular, is I live a mile that way. So this, I've never had a show this close. It feels really weird. Most of the shows you go to, you know, I'll go to NAB or IBC, the big shows, they're fine, uh, but they're way too big. You never, ever get a chance to see everything. I much prefer smaller shows where you can easily see everything and find people as well. So, yeah, big shows, I'm still not sure I'm going to go to any of the really big shows, but I might do, maybe just because I've missed them. But this, this is really nice. It almost makes me want to play rugby, except I don't play rugby or football. I do a bit of golf. Do you think they're mined? A bit of pitch and putt on the pitch. So Kit Plus do a couple of these a year and they are regional and I think that's a really important thing is make sure not all, I mean I'm a Londoner but they're not always in London. So I'll go to kitplus.co.uk to keep up to date where, with uh, when the next one is.